Hello, my name is Doreen Ellen Beldotan. And yes, I have something that um, I'd like to say about what's happening with Jeffrey Epstein. I hope that this information will dovetail with what has already been discovered and will help in any investigation of, of what's going on. I've been coming under some very, very unusually heavy uh, censorship on the internet on every site. I'm blocked out of uh, Twitter altogether. I'm heavily censored on uh, Facebook and uh, here on YouTube and uh, I should ask that um, you mirror um, this video because my exposure is being limited. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm in an echo chamber on the internet and I, I think that there may be information herein that will be helpful and I don't want it getting lost in the sauce. <laughs> the internet sauce. Maybe the peanut sauce. Bad joke, huh? Um, <clears throat> I'd like to give some information that is historical, leading us up to what's happening in the present, um, that will, will clarify a number of things. Um, when I saw the, the photo of the uh, <clears throat> the temple on uh, Jeffrey Epstein's island uh, it looked kind of strange to me it looked a bit unreal um, then when I saw on the Q site which I do follow the temple in Turkey after which that a temple on Jeffrey Epstein's island is supposed to be modeled after uh, things began to click. Here in Sfat there is a mausoleum from the Mameluk era uh, which is used as a a Freemason's Lodge. It looks very similar to that temple in Turkey after which the temple on Epstein's Island is said to be modeled. Um, <clears throat> I have some pictures and some threads on my Facebook page all of the stuff on my Facebook page can be viewed by the public. Uh, please take a look at, at some of that stuff. I want you to see the photos of that uh, mausoleum and the fact that it is a, a Freemason's Lodge. Um, you will also see in some of the links there that Rothschild did a lot of building in Sfat. I talked about this on my old channel. The Rothschild family also heavily invested <clears throat> in uh, the town of Woshpina, which is a stone's throw from Sfat. It's something like a three or a five minute drive, depending on how fast to drive. Um, Woshpina means the capstone. So here you have Turkish architecture that is similar to the Turkish temple that is on the Epstein Island. And you have nearby Woshpina. Now, there's also a play on words there because pin in Hebrew is penis and wash is head. So wash pina is also the head of the penis, which is the capstone, which tells you that there is a twisted kind of a sexual connotation connected with the, the, uh, the issue of a capstone in Freemason architecture. Uh, architecture. And, uh, of, course, of course, we know 
that the Turkish branch of Freemasonry, uh, you know, they, they wear those red caps and all, uh, the name of it escapes me now, is one of the um, most powerful branches. I am of the opinion that the word saboteur does not come from the French wooden shoe sabot. I think it comes from sabotean. Hashab Ta'im, called in English the Sabbateans. This was an heretical sect whose idea was, supposedly, this is the excuse they used, that um, the Messianic age can be come, can be brought about if the Jews either become perfectly righteous or perfectly evil. And their idea was, since the Jews can't be perfectly righteous, we'll make, uh, we'll make them perfectly evil, and that'll bring back the messianic, uh, bring about the messianic error. This is obviously an excuse. This is nuts, right? The Sabbateans committed every kind of sin possible. Everything that God said do, they said don't. Everything that God said don't, they did including incest, including orgies, including uh, uh, adultery, all kinds of perversions. This was part and parcel of their cult. The Sabbateans still exist. There is a, uh, a group called the Donme, and they are still in Turkey. They are still operative. Shabtai Tzvi, who began the Sabbateans, was captured and he converted to Islam. Which means that there is within Islam an influence of these Sabbateans, these saboteurs of the Jewish people and of everybody else. But their main target is the Jews. Later on, a man by the name of Jacob Frank began an extreme, a more extreme, if you can imagine this, version of the Sabbateans. Um, <clears throat> I think that Mary Shelley called her book Frankenstein uh, I think what she was actually speaking about was, was the Sabbateans, uh, was the, excuse me, the Frankist group of the Sabbateans, the Frankists, in an oblique kind of a way. Mary Shelley was born not long after Jacob Frank died. Jacob Frank, whose uh, sect was even further out, as I say, than that of Shabtai Tzvi. They were, they did things that were absolutely vile, vile, converted to Christianity. And so within Christianity, there is the influence of the Frankists. So within Islam, you have the influence of the Sabbateans, the original Sabbateans, and within Christianity, you have the influence of the Frankists. These people are still active to this day. And their main job is to destroy Judaism, to destroy Jewish morality. And in that way, they want to sink the whole world into immorality. This is not an attack on the Christians. They want you to think that. It's not. It's an attack on Judaism. You will find pictures on my page of chief rabbis, including the first two chief rabbis of the modern resettlement of Israel wearing, first of all, having that typical Freemason thing with their hand uh, in their coat, but also wearing 
those crosses, can you believe this? I'm talking about chief rabbis now. Wearing those crosses that are given out by the, the monarchy of Britain for loyalty. These are crosses that are given out when someone is knighted and they declare loyalty to the British Empire. The first time I saw a photo of Rabbi Cook, of all people, wearing one of these crosses, I was certain that this had to be photoshopped, that this had to be some kind of a mock-up, that this was some kind of a hoax. Well, it's not. There is corroborating evidence. Other people have found it, including rabbis have found it. Um, there is a Sabbatean, Frankist, Freemason infiltration of Judaism. And their intention is to steer the entire Jewish world into any kind of perversion, uh, apathy, sin that they possibly can. This is their stated purpose. These are saboteurs. And they are active in all of our critical systems here in Israel and in, in the major economic centers of the world. These people are very, very wealthy. These are the billionaires among the Jews who run the Jewish, Jewish youth training programs in which they install Jews who have been trained by them in business, in government, in judicial systems, everywhere where it's critical, in North America, in Israel, in Europe, everywhere. The last person who has any place being involved in Jewish education is a Jewish billionaire. One cannot become that wealthy without devoting themselves to it, dedicating themselves to it. In other words, the money becomes their god. Money is not the god of the Jewish people. You think we're all about money because that's what they want you to think. No Jew who is devoted to Judaism wants more money than they need in order to live a reasonably comfortable life that affords them maximal time for learning Torah and doing good deeds in the world. This is the true Jewish way. What you think about what's important to us is what they want you to think is important to us. They are the anomalies, ordinary, normal Jews do not want to have more money than, than allows them free time to live a Jewish life. If you've seen the videos of my apartment, you will see that I practice what I preach. No one who is worth their salt as a Jew wants that kind of money. It is an albatross. It is a yoke. It is a signing of a contract that you cannot get out of. Because once you get that involved with money, you owe people and you cannot pull out. That is a one-way door. And no Jew walks through that. Anyone who has, has walked out of the door of Judaism. And those are the last people who should be in charge of Jewish education determining Jewish policy, 
determining what's important in the world to Jews, they are doing that only as saboteurs. There is something that I would like to, to ask the good researchers among you to look into. I am not leveling accusation here. I am just going to state facts that I do know and tell you what I think should be looked into because I don't know. There is a family by the name of Schusterman in Oklahoma City. There's information about them on my Facebook page. There is more information about them on the net. Lynn Schusterman, who was now running the foundation because her husband Charles Schusterman passed away. Her maiden name is Rothschild. Now I want to tell you that these people are extremely powerful, extremely wealthy. You're talking about people who are in the oil business of, in their own right, and her daughter Stacy married someone from the Dow family. These people are powerful. The Schusterman family run a research. These people are all into research. Human behavioral research, psychological research, neurological research, AI, you name it. She runs a research center called the Chawuf Institute for uh, the study of abuse of children how abuse impacts children. She also runs a string of institutions for children at risk, many of whom have been determined not to have been at risk and not to have needed to be taken out of their homes at all. One of the families whose children was in one of her institutions tried to sue her in district court in Oklahoma for alleged maltreatment of their children in their institution. The case was thrown out of court. The district court judge in Oklahoma City said that this was a family matter and therefore it wasn't the business of her court. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. I don't think that this family, the Collins family, and I'll link to the case that they brought against her or Schusterman's family. So this, 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 obviously this judge was terrified to touch this. Now I went looking to see if there's any connection between <clears throat> uh, Schusterman and uh, Jeffrey Epstein. That I did not find. But what I did find was that the Schusterman Foundation recruits for Leslie Wexner's program of Jewish leadership, world leadership in Israel and North America and maybe elsewhere. She is actually looking for candidates for his program on her site. And so I don't know whether there is any untoward or illegal activity there. I do not know. I know that I've heard things about the institution. I know that it, her institutions, I know that a case was brought against the Schusterman family. As I say, it was thrown out of court. Nobody wants to go up against a, a, a somebody who's like a, a you know, a, a, a Rothschild and a Dow, right? Um, except the, 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 the very, very brave among us. Um, and 
I don't find anything between her and, and Epstein directly. The manager of her trust fund did work for George Soros. Um, and as I say, she does recruit for Wexner. So I'm going to ask you please to look into these things. I want to make a public apology to the world for the image that has been crafted by these Sabbatean saboteurs about the Jews. No, we are not all about money. No, we are not all about sexual perversion. Everything that most of the world has ever learned about morality. We have taught you. And these people are trying to make the Jews look like we've given up on our morality, that we've turned our back on it. That is what they want you to think. It is not true. There are many people in Israel that are very valiantly fighting to retain our moral tradition in the face of a, a system whose resources are, are, are monetarily unlimited being brought to bear against us to try to demoralize us in every which way. The state of Israel is a comprehensive Jewish demoralization program. We're demoralized by war. We are demoralized by having to compromise ourselves in order to make a living here. We're demoralized in, 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 in more ways than, than I can describe because it is so comprehensive. The State of Israel was founded to the specific intention of demoralizing the Jews once and for all. Well, it's not working, but we're struggling very hard. And I want you to know we are not what you think. We, we are not what the Sabbatean saboteurs want you to think that we are. We still hold to old school morality. And we are going to prevail and win and we're going to flourish. We have been promised that the meek and the humble will inherit the earth. King David made that promise and that promise is eternal. Please look into the history of the Sabbateans, the Frankists. Uh, please look into the, the Schusterman Foundation and their interests, their connections. Uh, by the way, um, Amazing Polly mentioned in one of her videos that Wexner was part of a group called the Mega Group that was put together with a number of Jewish billionaires to the purpose of determining Jewish policy and, 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 and taking over Jewish education and so forth and so on. Charles Schusterman and Leslie Wexner were together in that group. So there is a long-standing Wexner-Schusterman uh, connection and uh, we see that, that the Schusterman family has interest in research concerning abused children and uh, if there is anything that isn't kosher uh, we need to know about it. I have given this information over to the United States State Department and uh, to the United States uh, Department of Justice. 
I've been linking to the White House. Uh, I presume that, that Q takes a look at my page every once in a while. Um, so the Trump government does know about it, but um, they can always use some citizen help in, in looking into details. Thank you very much for listening. And I will appreciate if you mirror this, this video because, um, as I say, I've been put into uh, an echo chamber. Thank you for